All right, Halos, welcome back. We're back once again, and we are going to be doing, um, let me check real fast, Mission Select. Today we're going to be doing Soggy Cave, which was actually unlocked in the last part, uh, doing Soggy Swamp as well. So, um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I believe I was mistaken in actually saying that Soggy Swamp was a uh, not like a main mission, but I believe it was actually a main mission, and this is the uh, side little mission, because... Um, Creeper Woods, the side mission for that one, or the secret mission rather, was Creepy Crypt actually. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and do Soggy Cave real fast. I think this is a short one, but I don't remember for sure. So let's go ahead and just do this level, even though it's a little bit lower level um, one. We're kind of in between right now, but we're not quite that, so it's giving us a 1.5 times difficulty, which I'm not sure I want to do just yet, just to be safe. We might be fine, but... I'd rather be safe than sorry. I, I want to not die if I can avoid it. Uh, whoops, didn't mean to do that, but that's fine. Alright. Oh, yeah, I forgot we do actually have that, um, the multi shot, which fires, uh, five arrows at once. So there's 20% chance to trigger, but, uh, I guess I got lucky those two times real fast. Probably was the case. Alright, let's go ahead and check out all this area. Try to get all these guys at range if I can avoid it. If I can avoid getting close, I mean. I think. One, two, three. It's like the third little swooping attack. And then make sure we don't miss anything. Try not to walk through the fire so we don't get burnt. Oops, didn't even mean to walk straight into that, but I did. There we go. Try to walk through that if we can. We're gonna take some damage there for sure. But that should be okay. I believe this is one of the little areas that I used to farm quite a bit back in the day. <laughs> um, there's like certain missions that have really specific artifacts, or like every mission has a specific artifact or gear that you can find in it, and this is one of them. Uh, that's the wrong way. I gotta go up. Yeah, so we have to do, uh, you have to go through here, but in order to do that we have to unlock it. So first let's, let's fight all the enemies here. Mushroom Eyes is still there, although it looks like we already timed out a little bit there, but it's fine. Yeah, the slimes in this game actually do deal damage. <laughs> Funnily enough. Alright, now let's figure out the little uh, thing here. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. Let's move along. That's that one, and then the next one since it's still not fully unlocked up here, is this one, and then we'll we'll have it fully unlocked. There we go, it won't let us through just yet. Also, what uh, what do we not have seen yet? It's saying there's a little notification in here somewhere. I think we already got everything, right? Or is it somewhere in like in here? Nope, not that. I'm not sure, actually. Oh, yeah, it's not there now. That's weird. Okay. Oh well. That'll be alright. Shadow Brew. Still have the mushroom eyes, and now it timed out, though. Here. 
There we go. Nice. So yeah, it does the middle tree, it looks like, for this one. So we just have to get it on either side, basically. Alright, nice. And then that should unlock that final area that we needed to get unlocked. Yep. Absolutely. And then we get a, like, special super chest here. So we got Soul Healer and Dancer's Sword. So let's go check out those real fast. Um, Dancer's Sword is actually one level less. This is increased attack speed. Um, power is a little bit less than what I have, but the speed is quicker. The area effect is a little bit less. But it's 24 melee damage as a, like, a solid. It's not like a difference and then uh, reliable combo as well so we can definitely try that and then we have soul healer as well heals the most injured ally nearby including yourself um, so it requires souls but it has a five second cooldown and 66 health uh, is the max healing um, I we am actually gonna go ahead and do that because that'll increase our power level up one more sadly I would do have to get rid of the death cap mushroom uh, though in order to do that but it'll be okay Alright, uh, I don't know if there's any more enemies. I think that was all the enemies, actually. We could, though. I think it might respawn the enemies over here. So we could try going through the level one more time. Yeah, we could. Yeah, that hurt actually quite a bit, but it's fine. But yeah. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, whatever. Let's go ahead and chug our potion just for fun. It doesn't always heal you up to full, but since I have so little health right now, um, it's not going to heal me like quite as much. Or like it's going to heal like a lot more than it looks like. <laughs> but yeah, alright, let's go ahead and finish that little f game real quick. Obviously we could clear out the rest of the map if we wanted to a second time, but it's just the same map we already went through. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and this up. We got a totem of regeneration. This handcrafted wooden figurine radiates a warmth a warmth like that of a crackling campfire, healing those who gather around it. Alright, and like I said, that's a quick, a uh, really quick one, and you can actually speed run it pretty quickly, especially if you have like some uh, mushrooms, or um, there's a boots of swiftness that actually speeds you up as well. Um, but yeah, this is level 18, so I think we'll do... Um, would this increase our thing? No. Okay. It doesn't increase our power, interestingly enough, but that's okay. Uh, what's the highest level armor we have? We're wearing it, okay. Highest level that we have, we are wearing, or using... I think we're using the highest level of everything, except maybe maybe this. That's not increasing our power, though. So let's, let's take a quick gander um, and see how, how this does. It's a solid 24 damage. Looks pretty cool, but I think it's it's a lot less than what we have here, right? Yeah, it's it's, it's not really that much faster as well. Um, so I am actually going to go ahead and use this. I forget what that enchantment is. Let me look on some of these other ones to see if I can find it, because I don't remember the exact uh, the exact thing that it is. Is any of these other do any of the other other ones have that that enchantment yet? Yeah, there it is, rampaging. So, after defeating a mob, there's a 10% chance to increase your attack speed by 50% um, for a short time. So yeah, and the duration goes up depending on the level, but yeah, it's it's only after defeating a mob. That's that's the catch. So, it would actually be pretty decent once you're like defeating a bunch of mobs in a row, I guess. But right now, we're not gonna worry about it too much. Um, we already we completed that little mission there. I want to check around to see if the new chest has spawned around us yet or not. Looks like the healing actually increased, uh, or like the souls we have are, is maxed out as well. So that's kind of interesting. Must have maxed that out really fast. Um, trying to see if I can find the chest. No, that's, that's not the right map I'm looking for. <laughs> Yeah, it's it spawns in the few there we go nice perfect free 50 emeralds there perfect all right let's go to the next mission i am going to try to do a couple in this one uh well the next one should be cacti canyon so let's go ahead and f work on that one we do have power level 16 so now we can do default level 4 without it being like 1.5 times difficulty or anything so that should be pretty good uh yeah let's go ahead and do that then 
click a lot of rewards and gear drops you can get on this one, as well as uh, some that we've already discovered that you can get. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> the Arch Illager seeks to summon armies of the undead using a power that rests deep within an ancient and forgotten desert temple. Finding the temple, however, is an adventure in its own right. For the entrance lies hidden somewhere in this canyon, a sprawling maze of malevolent mobs and lost secrets. All right, there we go. Power of the beacon. Uh, so yeah, we've got a few different things here. Um, this is going to be our little aura. It just sits on the ground, um, the little totem, I mean. So it's not like uh, you could just walk around with it or anything. But yeah, let's uh, let's get this. Actually, give me two seconds. I need to fix something real quick. All right, sorry about that. I'm back. Let's continue on. I believe there's a bunch of husks actually in this uh, level. That's something to keep an eye out for. Go ahead and take these guys out as well. Poor little fellas. No secret chest spawning in there, it looks like. Perfectly alright. Ouch, that hurts a lot. Ouchie, ouch, alright. Let's try to get some healing off here. But that's fine. There we go. Switch of motion. Don't mind if I do. Uh, I don't think there's anything here, but sometimes maybe they like spawn out of nothing. So it's worth a shot, I guess. Ouch. That did hurt quite a bit. Try to avoid these guys if we can. Alright. We lived, so that's good. <laughs> uh, looks like there's a little bit of something up here. Let's we'll grab real fast. Then let's continue on. Yeah, I don't really like super slow attacking weapons, but they do obviously have more damage. So it's a bit of a trade-off for sure, but generally speaking, I like fast attacking weapons, attack speed weapons. Forgot I didn't have a, a death cat mushroom on me, so I accidentally he soul healed myself, but that's fine. It works. Oh, nice, another level up, which actually increases our health as well. Another enchantment and point, enchantment point rather, earned. Lost connection to Mojang service. Connected to Mojang service, okay. chest or something up there, so that's nice. Got a slicer crossbow it looks like. Let's check what that's all about. Check it out real fast. So slicer is way better than what we have right now. That's gonna increase our power by two. Let's go. Um, so what does it do? 48 range damage. This is quite a bit. Just base. Uh, faster projectiles, chance to fire piercing bolts. That's always nice. Fire aspect, dipping poison, or accelerate. 
Accelerate's probably going to be pretty nice, honestly. But uh, I'm going to save my enchantment levels for now. So this is 38 melee damage. It's a little bit faster speed, a little bit less power, and a little bit less area. It also has echo, though. Let's, uh, let's try it out, honestly. Like I said, I do like the faster attacking weapons, generally speaking. Uh, what is that? Longbow? A little bit worse than what we have, but it's fine. What else did we get? I think it was just the longbow, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, let's check down this little tiny corner here real fast. Doesn't look like anything there. Okay, yeah, so it only takes a little bit of stuff. A little bit of souls, rather. Uh, let's check this downward area real fast, because I haven't checked that yet. Ouch! That did not one-shot the creeper. It's definitely less damage, right? It's uh, 38, and this is 38 to 55, but it's usually more like 55. Alright, yeah, we, we checked all this area already. Let's continue on. But yeah, if you don't have enough souls, you can't even use the item, so it's a bit of a trade-off sometimes. Some supplies. Don't know where the arrows went. I think I might have already picked them up. Not sure. Mm. Yeah, I think... I think uh, the glaive is a little better overall. Oh yeah, I also have sharpness on it, obviously, as well. If I'm very careful about it, I can also, uh... Like, not really take almost any damage. <laughs> yeah, that's right, I have the crossbow. I forgot about that for a second. Very nice. Swing back around here. Power the beacons. <clears throat> I think we need five of them. Yeah, we do. Uh, is there one up here? No, but there is some. Or rather, are some. Uh, uh, emeralds? Yeah, that's the word. Can't think of it for some reason. There's another one. Check much of this area yet, so we could. Let's go ahead and check down here real fast. <clears throat> A few emeralds we missed. I think that's all of them. Okay, it didn't quite kill him, but it stunned him at least, so gives us enough, enough time to finish him off. Nice. the arrow guys if we can. I guess you can't really go around that way yet, but that's fine. You can come across the other way. Yeah, if I if I back up, it's pretty easy to get him. I could also use my uh that thing. <laughs> Fishing rod to stun them for sure. Wasn't even thinking about that. And the uh, beacons are also marked on your map which makes it a little bit easier as well. Should be right up here. That'll be the last one. I think that's all the enemies in this area. Unless I missed someone. I don't think I did. <clears throat> Alright, let's head out. Shouldn't be too much further. Can't remember if there's a boss in this one or not. I want to say no, but I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure there's a secret chest here. Yep. Oh no! Jumped off the map. Oh, there we go. Sometimes, I was going to say, sometimes they, they spawn back in, but I wasn't sure about that one. Okay, this one's going to increase our power level to, to 19, so that's good. Um, this is 20% weapon damage boost aura, which is really nice. Gives you a pet bat as well. 
don't know if the bat attacks. Uh, I'm not actually sure. I don't think so, but it's possible. Luck of the sea boosts the chance that rare drops become unique. That's pretty nice, actually. And then we've got, when activating any art artifact, you regain a small amount of health, which is actually pretty decent when I can use like a fishing rod or like a low cooldown one. But I think uh, this one's going to be nice, so let's do that one. Um, I do like the cutlass, but... Hmm. Need some enchantment levels. That's fine. We'll just go with it for now. I think, uh... Okay, I was gonna say, I thought, like, maybe a little mini chest spawns there, but didn't look like it that time, at least. Maybe another time, though. <clears throat> Excuse me. We got a Slayer crossbow though. What is that? Ooh, level 23. Okay, it's the same one as I have, but hits multiple targets, powerful shots, 86 range damage. That is a lot more damage than what I have right now. <clears throat> powerful shots. And it's a crossbow, so. Treasured heirloom of many legendary hunters. Wild rage. Hitting an enemy has a chance to send it into a rage, making it hostile towards everyone. And then unchanting. Uh, yeah, I will try that one actually. Looks pretty nice. Let that finish off some guys here. We're not quite finished. Oh, I guess, yeah, it's a little bit slower than the second hit, so that's fine. Nice long bow. Good. Ooh, did the bat? Did the bat kill that uh, enchanter? Or? I'm actually not sure. Spelunker armor. That's a little better than what I have actually. Um. I didn't enchant it though with Luck of the Sea. Yeah, I think I'll keep the one I have on right now. This one's a little bit better. Uh, what enchantments does it have? Cooldown. <clears throat> That's really useful actually. Shadow Blast, Swift Footed. Yeah, cooldown is definitely the best one there. We might use it, but for now I'm gonna keep what I've got because this is pretty much, it's not really increasing our power level by any actual. Yeah, if I get like some life seal or something, that'd be good. Yeah, the bet the the pet bat actually is dealing damage. That's the first time I've seen that actually. Pretty cool. I like it. All right, the shadow brew. Sure, why not? No point in leaving it. Might as well use it on him. Then we have some husks here. A little bit more health, but they're pretty slow. do quite a bit of damage if I remember correctly as well. There we go, let's check down here real quick, nothing. Sometimes the hidden chests might pop up so I'm just kind of walking a little bit close just to be safe. Ooh, nice, got some emeralds from that buddy. Nice, nothing back here, nope. All right, let's continue on. I think we're getting pretty close. <clears throat> I think there's a few boss fights we gotta do though. Uh, like, not like an actual boss, like a hard mob or anything, but yeah. All right, Shadow Brew. Use it to attack multiple enemies. Oh, gotta level up, nice. Alright, uh, let's go over here. Oh, we gotta do f the boss fight and then we gotta pick up this key. And anytime we get hit, the key drops and starts walking away from us. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Now let's get the key. So let's try 
try not to get hit if we can avoid it. Otherwise, we'll have to pick up the key. We got some enchanted guys over here. Chilling. Yeah, they have more health and they deal more damage most of the time. So they can be pretty tough, often. Go ahead and heal up a little bit. Guess the ankle isn't really good there. But yep, he hit us there. Oh, looks like it's not running away from us at least. It used to run away, maybe they changed that, I'm not sure. Chilling is rough. Alright, let's go this direction. That should open this guy. Yeah, it looks like it's not running away from us anymore, so that's good. It used to run away. I know for sure it used to do that. <laughs> there we go. Is there anything hidden here? No. Okay. Open this up, and this up, activate those little beacons, should let us walk across. Oh my gosh, I'm getting wrecked. Let's use a potion here. Yeah, the enchanted buddies are annoying. back now. We have to use this to open a doorway over on the left side there. Nice swiftness potion. Yep, definitely. Oh no, it is running away from us. Maybe it was just the blue one that didn't run away. Or maybe he was stuck, I don't know. Yeah, with more powerful, bo powerful bows as well. Usually you get less arrows as well. That's something to keep an eye out for. Check out this bonus area over here. Nice. A little pet bat actually helped me out there quite a bit. Wonder if he's like a ranged attacker or what. guys out if we can. Alright. This is going well. Nothing hidden over here. Let's chuck this over there. I think that's it, but it doesn't look like there's any secret chests over here, sadly. 
Uh, we opened all the secrets and the chests, looks like. Sometimes the hidden ones add extra ones, but I think... I think we already opened them all. Uh, I think we gotta go this direction. Not sure if we can go down the bottom way. area, possibly. Yep, there we go. Alright, let's be careful. Level 21, actually. That's pretty high. Isn't that higher than what I have? Yeah, it is. That'll increase our power. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and use that then. Uh, what do we got? Guarding strike. Okay. So those mobs after hit for three seconds. Pretty nice. I'm going to do one, one level of that. It is killing the, uh, the creepers in one hit, so that's good. Good news. I think one more level. Alright, that should be the last wave. Oh no, there's one more. Okay, never mind. Just kidding. Nice. Cutlass working out pretty well, actually. Alright, there we go. That's the last level of them. That should be, I think, the final boss, actually. Oh, let's get this guy real fast. Luxury merchant. Okay. These, like, super cool items, I think. Anything over here? No. How about this corner over here? Anything neat? Doesn't seem like it. Alright, let's head out. That should be the end of this little level. And we got two there actually now, so cool. Oh, actually, maybe I can jump off up here. Don't know. Uh, is there a higher area I can do? I don't think so. Let's try jumping from like here maybe? Oh, I missed. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm trying to do something. I don't know if it's gonna let me, but let's try. Nope, that didn't work. How about this way? Okay, I don't think so. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a little hidden guy over here, but I don't know how to get to it because I think I'm just gonna fall and hurt myself. Fairly certain. You know what, let's try it once. But I th I'm pretty sure I'm gonna fall and hurt myself. Yeah. Alright, never mind. Waste a little bit of time there, but it's fine. <laughs> Let's continue on. Yeah, you do actually run faster while your your uh, jump little thing, the roll forward, is uh, is recharging. But hmm, or well, not while it's recharging, temple. while it's up. But Who if it's recharging, you run slower. And treasures await you inside. Who knows? All right, let's travel back to camp. Check out our luxury merchant. See what we got as our end of mission reward. Soul Lantern level 22. Alright, nice. Uh, I don't really care about it that much, but it will actually boost our uh, power level, I believe. If we do something like this, maybe? No, okay, never mind. It won't boost our power level at all, I guess. Well, in that case, let's, uh, let's keep what we got, I think. Soul Healer's nice. Yeah, we'll keep keep that for now. 
go ahead and salvage this because I don't really care about the other other leveled one. Salvage that as well because I don't need it. Alright, uh, Luxury Merchant. So yeah, he has uh, discounts <clears throat> on uh, more rare items, I believe. The Scale Mail. Pretty nice. Level 24 actually is not bad. It's actually better than what I have. I could, uh, I could buy it. What do you guys think? What do I have on right now? Level 18 Spelunker Armor. It has 20% weapon damage boost aura, 77% health. Yeah, I think this is better actually. Gives me... We'll go ahead and buy it actually. Usually I don't buy this stuff, but I will buy this one this time. Uh, let's go ahead and equip that. That'll give our uh, power level higher as well. This will give our power level up as well. Give. Yeah, it'll... it'll we'll have more power level basically. <laughs> Um, and then, other than that, I think we're pretty set. Yeah, I think we got pretty much the best stuff in, in every role, every level. Uh, what's this? Acrobat, reduce the cooldown between rolls, burning, burning's nice. Beast boss, be pets deal more damage. Um, I think it's time to get rid of some stuff. Um, like this cutlass, we definitely don't need, so we have a better one. Um, and then let me let me do the burning one. Three damage. It's not much, but it's something. I can actually get it up to ten damage every half second, which is pretty decent actually. I don't remember the aura. Okay, it's pretty close, but you know, it's nice. Wonder if we get close to this, it'll show us. Uh, not really. Not really showing us, but that's fine. All right, well, thank you guys for watching once again. I appreciate it. Um, looks like we can actually claim our free rewards as well. Cleaning, or cleaning, rather. <laughs> Alright, and then I think, uh, yeah. We'll get some more stuff next time, possibly. We also have weekly challenges, which look like the reset, but that's interesting. I guess that gets you closer to uh, reaching your goal. But yeah, other than that, I think we're pretty much good. Let's go ahead and look at this cosmetic. I guess we can equip it. I don't actually know how to... Uh, how to use that? How do you use your like emote? Chat wheel maybe? T V. There we go. Yeah, there it is. What's chat wheel? Oh yeah, I guess we can't really can't really do it. Oh, we're like locked in actually when we're emoting. That's weird. I don't like that. <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching once again. And once we find this little chest, whoops. Once we find this little chest, I'm gonna peace out. Where is my emerald chest? Sometimes it's hidden down here as well. Unless they changed it. They might have changed it, I can't remember. Doesn't look like it's hidden down there this time. How about... Down this way. Yep, there he is. Alright, nice. I didn't open it. There we go. Alright, once again, thanks for watching. Catch you later. Peace.